raping us. Raping us does not automatically mean that they uh, were getting pregnant, that these women were pregnant from these rapes. Not to mention, not to mention, that was not the mindset of the slave master. Oh, I need more slaves, so I'm gonna go and roll rape this woman so that I can rape, no. He was doing it from pure lust because he realized that our women was far better than that pasty, stale, stinky, nasty white woman. did not include when we go back to Isaiah 56 what it say let not the stranger say behold the most high has utterly separated me from his people neither let the eunuch say behold I am a dry tree but for those to take hold of my covenant and do the things that I delight I will bring them into my holy mountain and I will give them a name better than of sons or daughters so that is inclusive brother that is not exclusive and I appreciate you uh, uh, and you, you choose to dip off on that that's what you choose to dip off on? Okay. It's so crazy, man. I'll I, I let him finish because I said, you know what? I'm going to actually really do it the brother, and I'm going to let him get his point off. But not for you to do a drive-by. <laughs> not for you to do a drive-by because you are so focused on Isaiah 56 that you're completely ignoring Isaiah 60. And it's so funny. I'm glad you brought that. Weren't they slaves in, in Egypt? Are you talking about the same type of slaves they were in Egypt? Who got that? Bring it out. It's the book of Exodus chapter 1 and 11. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burden. And they were being afflicted with their burden by the taskmasters that were set over them. How did the Egyptians have the authority to set over these people, the Israelites, taskmasters? Because they were in subjection unto them. Because they were slaves unto them. Read. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities. And they did what? Built for Pharaoh treasure cities. The slaves that had taskmasters masters over them were building things for Pharaoh. And I don't think that there's any disp uh, disputation between the Israelites being slaves in Egypt. Right. So why is it that when we go to Isaiah 60 and we showcase that these nations, which the man admitted, was all of the nations, not some of them, that they would build up our laws and, and, and build up our cities, that then they're not slaves. This is a problem with our people. And he ran from that as fast as he could. He hot-footed away from Isaiah 60 to run back to Isaiah 56 and then butcher that scripture. That's right. But we address him, and then he doesn't want to address our points. This is what we have to do, man. And that's the way we, we expose our people, especially when they're in error. Let them talk and do all that little BS, because we know what we're talking about. And the Bible brother, uh, 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 Officer Asai, he walked him down. He said, oh, okay, cool, I'll give you that. Now let's see what happens four chapters later. And he also didn't consider, again, what Isaiah was speaking about early on, where it literally says they're going to be our possession. Right. And they are going to be servants and handmaids. Right. The people that had us in captivity will be in captivity under us. You got something else? Bring it out. Right. Isaiah 14 and 2 in the GNT. Yeah. Many nations will help the people of Israel return to the land which Yahweh gave them. And there the nations will serve Israel. Real quick, they're going to return to the land that Yahweh gave them. This is the land that he acknowledged that we were going to go back to. Right. He acknowledged that this is the land where these nations, all of them, not just some of them, was going to build up our walls. Go ahead. And there the nations will serve Israel. And there, in that place, the nations will serve Israel. Then he tries to trivialize it. Then he tries to scramble it all up and say, so you're talking about over 100 million people just going to be in Jerusalem? No. But it's going to be enough of them there to build up our wall. And then anybody that's not there, they're going to make sure that they have their mindset on doing whatever it is that we require of them to make sure Israel is strong and in the order in which we want it to be. Oh. Simple and plain. Bring it out. And there the nations will serve Israel as, as slaves. As what? As slaves. As what? As slaves. As what? As slaves. But when we bring that out to him, he's got to scurry up the block. Right. Oh, we're, we're back. We're, can, can I show you one more? Can I show you one more? Bring that out again. I got a question. Bring it out again. I got a question. Hold on, I'm going to let you get your question. Okay. Now, you have to understand, when you come back the second time, 
you lose a little credibility because you tried to bring the scripture out and you tried to scurry away. I still don't mind dealing with you, but you can't just come up and then think you're going to get your question off. You got to be patient. Got to be patient. Bring it out. Isaiah 14 and 2 in the GNT. Many nations will help the people of Israel return to the land. Many nations will help the people of Israel return to the land. You agree? Yeah. Go ahead. Which the Lord gave them. Which the Lord had promised unto the children of Israel. You agree? Yeah. Go ahead. And there the nations will serve Israel. And then they're going to serve Israel. Do you agree? Yeah. As what? As, As slaves. Slave. As what? As slaves. As what? As slaves. Do you agree? I, I agree. Okay. Get that man in here. And that's fair. But, and that's fair. Right. But, let me, but, but in context, we were talking There's about... There's a contextual slave. But no, we were talking about... We were. I asked you a question. The question was, did the Most High exclude the nations from salvation? So this is what I want to read to you. Let me read this. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want you to understand something before you read. You got to understand our, our perspective, right? Oh, I understand your perspective. What is our perspective? The your perspective is that the nations are going to be excluded from salvation. What's the salvation? To our, from our perspective, what's salvation? Everlasting life. No, no, well, okay. Let me, let me explain something. You got it? Luke 1? Let's get Luke 1. I want, I want you to understand. Hold on, hold on. I want you to understand something because this is, this is where... Israelites and, and, and Christians. I'm, I'm asking you. No, no, I know. If you I, can I, let me read this. I'm going to let you, but it's no point for you to read it if you have no understanding what we mean when we use the term or the phrase salvation. Right. right. Because you're going to bring out something that we don't disagree with. You believe that because we're going to have these other nations in the land with us that that means they're saved. And we're saying, no, that's not salvation. Everlasting life for our understanding is everlasting dominion and rulership the way that God originally had, had designed it. Yes, for, is, for Israel to be a light uh, uh, to the Gentiles, yes. that Israel would serve and obey God and be the representative of his righteousness. And everybody would fall in under that. Because Proverbs 29 and 2 tells you, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. So when Israel gets back as a righteous nation in authority, the whole world is going to rejoice. So what I need right. to understand is this. Mm -hmm. We understand that in America, we're living in a certain system where we understand that the Euro Europeans rule. We understand that. Okay. But are you saying to me that every white person that you see out here is wicked i'm saying that every so-called white listen every so-called white person that. every so-called white person that descends from the man esau yes is wicked and you, show, and you, can, and you can show me that in the scripture where the most high says that every every seed of esau is wicked somebody give me that uh malachi uh, uh one in the and what is to and what is and what is get it in the gnt wait a minute i want i want to also know uh you're saying that all of the europeans are from the house of esau Say it one more time. You say, all of, are you all asking me that all of the Europeans are from the house of Esau? All of the, all of the, all of the, so, all of the so-called white men, women and children, descend from the man Esau. That is their uh, patriarch. And what do you have? What source do you have to rely on that? Genesis the twenty-fifth chapter. No, I'm talking about historical sources. Do you have any extra historical? I mean, listen. Sources? I'm gonna say this. There's, there's, there's tons of books. He wants us to prove. No, no he's talking about. He's talking about extra biblical sources. You got some? No, no, no. He, listen, of course, we're, the breakdown we're going to go to in the Bible, he's going to say he disagree with it. Would you feel like the Apocrypha is an extra biblical source? The Apocrypha? The Apocrypha is an extra biblical source? What part of the Apocrypha? Maccabees. Read it. Bring it out. Now, let me ask you a question. When we prove this to you, what, what, what is it going to do for you? Because, hey, but not, no, because here's the thing, though. I'm, we're definitely going to bring it out. This is what we, this, this is what we live to do. My but wait, question, wait, wait. I got you. This my, is what we live to do. But I want you to understand something. Us proving that the white man is, is, is Esau. Let me ask you another question. Hold on, wait, wait. wait. Why, don't you, why don't you ever come up and ask us, is the East Indian Elon? Why don't you ever come up and ask us, is the Arab Ishmael? Why don't you ever ask us, is the Chinese Moab? Is the Japanese Ammon? All of these different things. Because these are all the people that's going to subjection. Are they going to be included in the salvific plan of the Creator? 
they, listen, it's ox. Are they going no. to No, no, it's oxymoron. No, no, wait. No. It's oxymoronic because the salvation from the Creator is being delivered from these people, the people that God scattered Israel to. Hey! Can I read this passage to you before? I, I go? will. I, I listen. Look, I already told you, I brother. Just, you got my word. You and I are talking. Can I? Can I just you read? You got this? my word. Before, before. Yes. You didn't ask me a few questions already. Well, let me read. I have to prove that, and then you can come. Let Remember, you you skated. Brother, let me read. You lost your place in line when you when you when you just got up the block, man, on, on the bird. Not a problem. Let, can I read it? In a minute, you can. Go ahead. Malachi 1 and 4. Esau's descendants in Edom may say, we have been shattered, but we will rebuild the ruins. But the Lord of heaven's armies replies, they may try to rebuild, but I will demolish them again. We're talking about Esau and his descendants. Read. Their country will be known as the land of wickedness, and their people will be called the people with whom the Lord is angry forever. I mean... They're wicked. All right, so let me read this. Go ahead. And you, and you, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. We're gonna let him read. We're gonna let him because 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 once he reads this, all he's gonna do is run to another scripture and then ignore what we brought out as if what he's reading trumps this. So that's fine. Go ahead. Thus says. Yeah. No, no. Quote, quote the quote the book chapter verse. This is uh, uh, Jeremiah twelve, verse fourteen. Thus says Yah against all my evil neighbors that touch the inheritance which I have caused my people Israel to inherit. Behold, I will pluck them out of their land and pluck out the house of Judah from among them. And it shall come to pass after I have plucked them out, I will return and have compassion on them and will bring them again every man to his heritage and every man to his land. That's the salvation and we're talking about. And it shall come to pass if they will diligently learn the ways of my people to swear by my name. Okay, I, I, want, I want you to finish. I just want, I want to understand it. I want context. Yeah, I live. Hold on, wait, wait. What does it mean if they return? If they if they repent. Repent and do what? It's telling you in the text. And it shall come to pass if they will diligently learn the ways of my people to swear by my what's name. The way, what's the ways of his people? If they will righteousness, his laws, his commandments, okay. to keep those. Okay, so, do, so, so is that still in effect now? Is, does, do, what you're reading now, is that still in place today? Me meaning, meaning, does the Israelites still have to fulfill that in order to receive that mercy and grace of God? Yeah, yeah, they still have to keep the commandments. They still have to keep the commandments. Okay, yeah. so you don't believe that the commandments are done away with. But it also says don't vex a stranger. Neither, neither should you that, call. No, no, no. We're not talking okay. about strangers. We're talking about does the nation of Israel but, still have to do it, that? But it does say that in the law, don't vex a stranger, right? I, I have no problem with that. Okay. I'm saying, does that still apply to the nation of Israel damn July 14th, 2022? The laws are forever. Okay. I'm glad. I'm glad we got that understanding. Go ahead. Give them a hand. Give them a hand. That's beautiful. Because you do recognize a lot of people that say that they, they are done away with. They are not. They are null and void at this point in time. You recognize there are people that say that. Well, I understand why. But you are not one of them. No. Okay. Perfect. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass if they will diligently learn the ways of my people to swear by my name, Yah living, as they taught my people to swear by Baal, then they shall be built in the midst of my people. They should be built in the midst of my people. So that means that the Most High is going to lift them up. This is what it's. This is what, this is what it says. No, that's, the, that's. But if they. But if they do not obey, but if I will, they do not, then I will what? utterly pluck up and destroy that nation. Wait, wait, but, wait, 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 wait. Did they? No, but we're still. We we, we haven't we haven't gotten to the point of full fulfillment of, of of this prophecy. So wait, wait, there wait, is wait, no wait, way wait. that we can determine wait, wait, that. I'm Taz. What's your name, bro? I'm Amashad. Amashad. Read it one more time for me. Just read it one more time for me. I want to get a proper understanding, man. Amashad and Shakari, we're going to get an understanding today. Right. Right. right? Just read it again. It says, and it shall come to pass after I have plucked them out, and I will return and have compassion on them. You're going to return and have compassion on and Israel. Will, and I will bring them again, every man to his heritage, and every man you. to his land. You. What's this? And it shall come to pass if they will diligently learn the ways of my people. To who, swear wait, by wait, my who, who is his people? Israel, right? But, is, but anybody who joins on to the most hold on, hold on, hold on, hold shall be accepted hold on, hold on, as Israel. Hold on, hold on, I'm a shot. So listen, not, so I'm a shot, I'm a shot. I'm asking you a question and you trying to jump and what, guess no, where no, I'm no, going. No, no, listen, I, I'm like I, Walter Payton. Walter Payton said, I know the move I'm going to make. Brother, you don't know the move I'm going to make. You're asking me a question. So I ask you a question I'm just simply, who... When, if I'm they have to learn the ways of my people, when it says my people, who is that? Brother, they I'm can't learn the, same, the ways of themselves. They have to have an idea, I'm an example. Giving, they have giving, to have something to 
uh, strive unto to perform I'm to receive you, grace and mercy. I'm giving you a response. Who my is response, that people? My response is, we, I, I already acknowledge and understand that the Most High used the children of Israel as his, as his vessels. Is that the way they have to, to learn? To teach the nations how to serve. Is that the way they have him. to learn? So I, 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 I'm not discrediting that. Is that the ways that they have to yes, learn? That's yes. all I'm asking you. We could have been moved yeah, on. But what I'm saying, though, is when the children of Israel, I mean, when the stranger joins themselves into the house of Israel, then they should be treated as Israel. They've now become spiritual Israel. No, so no, 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 no. Don't worry about it, guys. Because it's damn if we do, damn if we don't. So, don't worry about it. So as the, as the scripture says, so right, keep reading. That's all. I had you read it again right, for a reason. Go ahead. Right, long as we understand the way in which they have to follow. It's the way of Israel. Go ahead. It shall come to pass if they will diligently learn the ways of my you. people to swear by my name, y'all live, as they taught my people to swear by Baal. They, got to, they have to swear by the name of the Most High as they taught us to swear by Baal. Correct? Go ahead. Then they should be built in the midst of my people. Wait, wait, wait. Then they're going to be built up in the midst of Israel. Correct? Who's Israel today? Because, wait, wait, because these people who are not Israelites, hold on, have to look at the Israelites, follow their way, and then in the midst of them, they're going to be built up. So who are those people that these non-Israelites are going to be built up in the midst of today? Because you said it's not total fulfillment. So that means that from this day forward, it's still more fulfillment that has to happen. Who's, gonna, who's it going to be revealed that as the children of Israel that these strangers are going to be built up in the midst of? Let me ask you a question. No, 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 this is a... No, don't worry about it, because I don't have to answer it, but I wanna, I'm curious, I'm sorry. This is, a, this is an historical I'm a dead question. cat. This is an historical Curiosity question. kills it. This is an historical question. When the Europeans could no longer bring us over here as slaves from, from Africa, what did they do uh, in order to produce more slaves? Uh, what, embreders? Inbred us with who? With ourselves, inbred. And who? What, in them? So we are amalgamation of... No, no, of, no, don't worry about of, it. We're amalgamation of a lot of people. So it, it, cannot, um, be, it um, cannot be fully determined okay. that just because you look the part that you're actually Israel. Now here's the thing. Do, have you ever heard us say that? And, and, have wait, you wait, ever wait, heard wait, us wait, say that? Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Ha wait, wait just wait. yes or no. We can move on, bro. Like every wait. time I ask you something, you... you you drag it out. Have you ever heard us say that? Yeah, I did. When? You are at, well, you're making. You just, you just lied on us, bro. What you said is. First Israel of all, everybody up here looks damn near different, bro. bro. I mean, we have a, we have a large spectrum of phenotypes and uh, complexions here. Right. So how are you going to sit up and say so, that? So we how, say so it how, depends on what you look so like. how can you say that you, I didn't say it depends on what you look you, like. You just, keep, dude, you are okay. I'm going to tell you, you're going to go viral, dude. Because you are just keep lying, dude. I did not say it's about what you look no, like. No, no, I no, say no, no, no. You did, accuse us of saying that. I said how can you determine for sure that you are of the house of Israel? You Israel's accuse point. us of making that my statement. Case, my case oh. point. When the children of Israel were exiled out of their land and they were allowed to go back in during Cyrus, during the, during the reign of Cyrus and Darius. Persians and the Medes, go ahead. You remember when the Levites tried to come in and, uh, and uh, resume their office of, of the Levitical priesthood? And some of them weren't allowed because the birth, some of the birth records were destroyed and it was no way for them to determine whether they were of the house of Israel or the tribe of Israel. Were they accepted? No. So, so, how, so, 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 so the so, thing that you're accusing so us of so is I'm you asking, just actually quoted that our people and so our ancestors did so, that. So, Excuse me, so the ancestors of the Israelites so did that. what I'm, so so what I'm, so what I'm asking you is how can you determine, how can you determine without any birth record that you are of the house of Israel? Prophecy. No, I'm asking you how can you make a determining a uh, determination Prophecy. after after you know that they had breeding camps and that we're and that uh the slave masters they had breed, number uh, uh, give me give me give me numbers of first chapter give me numbers of first chapter give me numbers of first chapter how can they how can you say do you have do you have records that they were forcing us to lay with their white women to get yeah, babies right. you got records of that oh, you, you don't know that that some of them were raped I, no 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 you no, don't no. know that you don't know that. You see that? No, no, you see that? Wait a minute.
This is hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can find this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm aside. I'm aside, right? Brother, I'm a side. Can I talk? You cannot. One, one thing you're not going to do here. We brought out a biblical source. I mean, excuse me, an extra biblical. What you consider an extra biblical source to prove that Esau was the wicked. We we proved that for you. Now you're asking me a question. You don't know that they were being raped. Yeah, they were being raped. But just because a woman gets raped doesn't mean she gets pregnant. Did you know, That's first of all. Did you know that they had inner inner relationships before this country became what it is? And the what do you mean inner relationships? What I'm do you mean by inner incest? I'm, I'm talking about incestual relations. No, I'm talking about interbreeding. I'm talking about interbreeding Europeans. is incestual. I'm talking about Europeans having relationships with black women and, and you're saying that and you're saying that the, you're, say, you're saying that the mindset of the European was, man, you know what? Uh, we can't go over and get slaves from Africa anymore. I'm talking about Hold on, because we're, I'm man, dude, you acting like I don't be listening to you. I'm a side, I listen to you very detailed. You told me war. that when, your question was, when the Europeans were not allowed to bring us back over from Africa to this place anymore, how did we, multi I mean, excuse me, how did they multiply and grow slaves? I said inbreeding. And you tried to make the point that they were laying with us. Well, really, which really, you said that we were laying with them. That's why I brought up the whole point. Like, they were allowing us to lay with a white woman? I don't think so. But then you brought up that they were raping us. Raping us does not automatically mean that they uh, were getting pregnant, that these women were impregnated from these rapes. Not to mention, not to mention, that was not the mindset of the slave master. Oh, I need more slaves, so I'm going to go and go rape this woman so that I can rape. No. He was doing it from pure lust because he realized that our women was far better than that tasty, stale, stinky, nasty white woman. That's what he knew, and he couldn't help himself. That's why he disowned him when he seen like, oh man, I done got this jungle bunny pregnant, and he doesn't want to bring his child up. So what you're saying to me is you are a pure breed African from the motherland. I'm not African, but I am a pure breed Hebrew hey, Israelite. Hey, hey, hey. So you know that for sure. Listen, absolutely. With all of my heart and all of my soul. With all of my heart and all of my soul. Can I see your birth record, sir? You said, can you see my birth records? My birth records is only going to tell you that I'm American. I was born in San Diego, California, UCSD Hospital, April 14, 1991. That's all the birth records is going to tell you. how do you make a determination that you are an Israelite? Because I believe in the Most High God, Abba Nawa Yahweh is his name. No, no, no. People believe I'm not in a done. whole lot of things. I'm not so done. I need Damn, the dude. Facts. I'm not done. How do you know and through the and because wisdom is a principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all that getting, get understanding. So the understanding that the Most High has given me through his word, his living word, is that you're an Israelite, I'm an Israelite, and that guess what? You being joined to these people that you want to sit up here and have them be built up in the midst of, you're going to be thrust through with the sword, man, upon the rain and destruction that's coming upon this place.